Greetings and thank you for joining us today, this week that uh, is the last week of the year leading up to the New Year's Day. And uh, what we want to do this week is just bring a word that will uh, really be a declaration of what God will do over your life. And so uh, I want you to uh, just receive each and every day as a declaration of what the Lord is getting ready to do for you uh, in your life, uh, perhaps for you and your family, if you have a family, uh, you're married or you have children and all of that, just receive every each day's word as God's pronouncement, as God's declaration over your life. And as you believe it, mix it with faith and say, God, I receive it. I know and I trust that God will cause those things to take place in your life. I want to focus in on what Malachi chapter 4 and verse 2 says. It says, But to you who fear my name, the Son of Righteousness will arise with healing in his wings, and you shall go out and grow fat like stall fed calves. And each day, we're going to talk a little bit about certain aspects of this verse. But today, I want to bring your attention to this declaration over your life. That to you who fear His name, who fear the Lord, you reverence Him, you hold it with reverence in your heart, you are following Him, you love Him. The Bible says, the Son of Righteousness will arise. The Son will arise. So that's the first part I want to just pronounce over your life. You know, like what our prophet Isaiah said in Isaiah 60, verse 1 and 2. He said, Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Though darkness covers the earth and deep darkness the people, yet the Lord shall arise upon you, and His glory will be seen upon you. So the sun, God rising over you, is compared to the picture of the sun rising. And even though there's darkness all around, you're going to have light because the sun, God, will rise over you. His light will break forth into your life. This week, we're going to consider more of what this means and how it's going to transform our lives. But receive this word. The, the sun of righteousness will arise. God's light will arise, will break forth into your life, regardless of the darkness around. Let's pray. Father, we thank you that you will shine your light into our lives. No matter what the darkness, no matter what the situations are around us, we are expectant that our God, the God whom we fear, is going to shine his light into our lives. And we're going to see that happen. Thank you, Father. We have been full of expectation for more. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.